All right, we are live. Good stuff. And today I wanted to have a, a chat to you about this quick fix quest that I keep seeing at the start of my challenges um, online, emails. I'm subscribed to a bunch of emails from uh, all sorts of uh, different different uh, health and wellness websites, you might say. And uh, a lot of their emails are always geared up to the quick fix. So wanted to have a little chit chat about that today. So before we delve into that, though, make sure you like and you share this video. Make sure you go on, click that like button right now. Get on it. Smash that like button. And if you're on YouTube, make sure you hit that bell and you subscribe on my YouTube channel as well to get all this lovely content that I keep putting out for you. So should we crack on? Hey, eh? well, I hope you had a good weekend, by the way. I hope it wasn't too manic. Mine was uh, full of uh, ballet, swimming. Not me personally, but uh, the kids, you know how it is, always uh, running around after the kids on the weekend. So I hope you had a good weekend too. Now, if you are watching the replay, stick a hashtag replay in the comments for me. And if you're watching live, say hello. Don't be shy. Say hello. Leave me a little comment. Let me know what's going, going down. So this is the Health is Wealth show, uh, episode number 19, I believe. So uh, my wife has just knocked on the door. So I'm hoping she's got her keys. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm going to have to run downstairs. I'm about to see her go again. I'm going to have to go down to the door. What a nightmare. I'm live on the show. I'm going to be back. I am going to be back. Oh my God. Can you believe that? <laughs> so yes, had a keys, but didn't uh, didn't open the door. So let me get back to where I was, shall I? So talking about the the quest for for these quick fixes that I often see. So last week was running a challenge, five day challenge. Many of you have done it. Hi Don, just seeing your comments. So many of you of you have done my challenge. It's five day challenge, and the idea is to give you the tools and the framework to not just change your health and your fitness for a few days, but to, to make permanent changes. So it looks like your lifestyle habits, what's going on there, and your ultimate reason for wanting to sort out your health. So you can, you can imagine that it's not some sort of quick fix, is it? So I get lots of women who join this challenge not really reading any of the information before they sign up, and they get in there and they're like, right, where... Where's the exercise? Where's the where's the diet plan? That's all I want. I just and they're basically just looking for a quick fix. Some men just to try to boost their motivation for a few days. And if you want long term results, you need to go in a lot more than that. So there's so many people who've done uh, all these diets, fad diets. I, I read not long ago that I think by the time a woman is sort of 50, 60, she's done over 100 diets in her lifetime on and off you know a few days here a few days there all the fad diets atkins and all sorts of uh, bits and bobs like that so if you want long-term results long-term changes you've got to stop looking for the quick fix so i even had a lady at the beginning of the five day challenge last week who had a bit of a go at me and said oh well you, you shouldn't you shouldn't be advertising it as a five day challenge then it's like it's, it's, it's called the flat belly launch pad. It's to give you that springboard to go and get results. And I aim, I said at the start, I said, if you're just looking for five days of exercises and five, you know, five day diet plan, then you, you can leave. It's no problem. You can, you can go, I'm not, not holding you ransom or anything like that. You don't have to stay. And uh, she, she got a little bit, uh, a little bit annoyed with me for, for some reason there, even though I was trying to help, trying to get long-term results. So she just wanted that quick fix and that was all she was interested in. So, Key thing here, here is if you want to get long lasting results, you've got to look past all these quick fixes that you see. The, the marketing hype, all the, you know, the, the latest and greatest diets, new exercise programs, um, supplements. Supplements are massive at the moment. So fat burning ones and all sorts of uh, stuff. And uh, more often than not, these things don't work long term. 
And if we look at things like, you know, the, the uh, gastric bypasses, you know, the, the gastric surgeries where the bands and sleeves and things like that, I read today, because I was doing a little bit of research for this, and I read today that 30% of the people that uh, have a gastric band, within 10 years, they've gained all the weight back. So that's 30%. And that's that's all the way back. So that doesn't say what people have done between. So people are definitely putting weight back on. And so the question is, why are they putting all the weight back on? And it's because they're not sorting out their lifestyle. They're not changing their habits. They're just doing the same old thing again and again. And over time, those habits make the weight creep back on. So if you're looking for those long lasting changes, look at your lifestyle, look at your sleep, your exercise, hydration, your diet, self care. Um, stress, look at all those things and think, right, where do I need to work on? And go one step at a time. Don't try and bite off more than you can chew. A lot of you girls know this. So Rachel, I've seen you hopping on here as well. So Dawn, you know this. Baby steps is what I always say. So build up one step at a time. Stack these habits on top of each other. Build up the consistency with one habit, whether it's just drinking eight glasses of water every day or getting seven hours of sleep. Build them up over time. Make sure you've got one done at a time then bring in the next habit and then the next habit get that consistency and build up and what will happen is i'll get small wins and those wins will snowball over time meaning that they've stuck with you as well and you'll notice changes in your health your energy and your body will look after itself to a certain degree okay so you'll start to see your waistline shrink down you'll become more toned if you're getting into regular exercise so it's a much better way of going about it rather than always just looking for the quick fix okay because I'm sure there's lots of you watching this and you've tried so many diets, so many exercise programs, but when was the last time you really thought about your lifestyle and looked at your sleep, your stress, how much water you're drinking, what you can do with your diet, how much you exercise, look at all of that and then try and implement strategies or habits that then get you to the point that you want to be. And you need to think a bit more long-term. So the quick fix is usually anywhere from five to five days to, to 30 days. Um, but think longer, three months, six months, nine months, a year. If you've got 50 plus pounds to lose, you're going to be having to go at this for quite some time. Okay. It's a project. It's not a quick fix. So that's my message for today. Hope you like it and uh, you like my content. So make sure you like and you share this if you haven't already. And apologies for having to disappear at the beginning. You know, sod's law, isn't it? You know, right, going live. I even messaged her, I said, right, I'm going live. So I'm, I'm doing the, doing this. And uh, yeah, five minutes later, she comes in, knocking on the door. Let me in. So, so apologies for that. But I hope that makes sense to you. Please, please, please stop looking for the quick fix and start thinking long term and looking at your lifestyle as a whole, okay? Right, I'm going to leave it at that today. But if you've liked this video and you have any questions, stick them down in there. And don't forget to say hello. I do enjoy it when you say hello, as Dawn and Rachel now. So enjoy the rest of your day, and I will see you back here on Thursday, another Health is Wealth show. All right, take care for now. Bye-bye.